Hey everybody, it's Coon Neck, SEC West Dudes, talking about Ole Miss. The Ole Miss Rebels will host the number three Auburn Tigers this weekend in Vaught-Hemingway Stadium on the campus of the University of Mississippi in Oxford. That's about the most positive thing I can say about this game. I'm not jumping on the bandwagon that this is going to be the upset of the week. I just don't get it. I don't understand why. The entire country seems to think that Auburn is just going to lay down for the Rebels. Uh, they Obviously, they've had some bad uh, road games this year. They don't play that well. They squeaked by Kentucky, um, squeaked by Mississippi State. Uh, but I don't think you can take anything away from the Kentucky or Mississippi State programs. Um, you know, Auburn is, is great. They have a great quarterback, great leader. Uh, it was proven when they played LSU. And... Uh, look like that was the game, or at least a lot of people are saying that was the game that LSU should have stepped up, but that was the game that Cam Newton probably won the Heisman Trophy on that one run that ever, nobody could tackle the guy. Um, if you are going to look for some positive things on the Ole Miss side, Auburn's got lots of injuries, and they got lots of injuries in their secondary. Ole Miss is coming off a uh, tough loss to Arkansas, even though it was expected. Uh, they played a little bit better than we thought. Um, and it looks like Mazzoli is kind of coming into his own in Mississippi now. Uh, he's kind of left the Oregon rain behind him, and he's seeing a little sunshine now with uh, open receivers and lots of open lanes because he's rushing for a lot of yards. Um, what was it last week? Uh, it looks like he had 425 yards in total offense uh, just on his own. So, uh, you know, 327 yards passing, 98 yards rushing against Arkansas, which is a very good football team. Um, I just don't know if they're better than Auburn. Uh, you know, Mazzoli's, a, what is it, one of four quarterbacks in the country to average 50 yards a game and 100 yards passing per game. Um, and then that doesn't bode well as Auburn has given up 14 touchdowns this year, um, and that's the most in the SEC. So I guess if you believe the stats, you can go ahead and say Ole Miss is going to beat Auburn this year um, because they're due. I mean, they've hung in some games, but I don't know. It's just, you know, after the Arkansas game was hard to watch. Uh, you know, besides the weather delays, uh, the game was just, it just, it was ugly to me. Uh, it just doesn't seem like Ole Miss is in sync at all. Um, and it's hard to figure out why. Uh, they're not. Uh, they have a decent program. They got some playmakers, but they're not making the plays. So I'm going to have to say that um, if Ole Miss can play four quarters, it will be a close game. Um, they're expecting a sellout crowd, more than 60,000 people at Vaught Hemingway. Um, one of the local radio hosts said that he thinks that they'll stay if they can stay in the game through the third quarter. Uh, I mean, you know, you hope for the best, but it looks like, um, at least from my mind, Auburn is going to get everything together. They're going to hold on to that top ranking. They're in the number one in the BCS, so uh, you know they don't want to let go of that. Um, back in the days of Tuberville, when they went undefeated and never even got a look for the national championship, this is a time for Auburn to make their mark. And you would think that, you know, you got people backing you like Bo Jackson, and Chiswick is not going to lay down. I mean, he is going to get his troops ready for this game. And uh, I really don't see a, a, a team from Auburn coming in that is going to lay down for Ole Miss. And Ole Miss is going to have to play their best game just to hang. Um, I'm predicting a 27-24 um, to 27-21 Auburn. Um, it may come down to the last minute, but Auburn will. I mean, Ole Miss is how can you say Ole Miss is not going to choke? It's just so, it's frustrating. But, um, you know, you got to keep your head up. Maybe thinking next year. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Thanks.